Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. Welcome, or welcome back to Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. Last time, we blew these four horns, and we were able to, thankfully, uh, reveal the secret door down on the first floor of the temple. Oh. Yes, this floor, this area. Gracious, they've already started in on us. The clerics obviously do not want us here. Understandable, but we've got to be here. There's too much to do. Where'd our arrow go? There we go. Can't let those out of our sight. Oop! I left one. No! There we go. <laughs> Already off to a great start. Speaking of which, uh, we are going to go ahead and hop down in our safe zone here, and uh, let's rest, because we are not at full health. And we know that there are plenty of clerics up on that second floor, and there's a lot of doors we have not opened yet. Oh, so kind of these monsters to wait for, you know, like, weeks at a time, a month or more while we just rest. It's totally fine. Okay, we've got all of this cool stuff that we found last time. If only. If only. Elves should be able to use bows, but this is second edition. Uh, it's fine. Oh, someone mentioned you can put the coin in a neck slot, by the way. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, but it will free up a space over here while we are wearing it, which is great. Alright, we still have a skull key and a copper key. Cast our protection from evil. And off we go. Oh, wait. Wrong teleporter. <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh. At the foot of the stairs, really. Guess I shot that one up the stairs somehow that's fine yep okay <laughs> all right so we have a copper key for that door we've opened this one and of course last time we fought some clerics they were talking shit behind closed doors But we did not explore most of the uh, most of the level. There we go. So we're well into it now. We've done the whole basement part. After this, the uh, there's another copper lock. Okay, but that door's already open. All oh, right, we opened it from here. So there's the that's the portal that goes down. Is there anything there? No. But from here, uh, you will find that the temple branches off into a number of different towers that we will have to ascend and explore. So that's exciting.
some of these we saw last time, but we do not have, like, a key to open them, or we chose not to throw the switch. Because, of course... Oop, there they are. Because, uh, we needed to go down and rest. And, oop! There we go, that's the magic mouth, remember that from last time? None shall pass without the mark of Dark Moon. We gotta find the mark of Dark Moon. That's alright, I think we can do that. Oop. He's here. There we go. Not doing too badly. XP. Ramping up, but we're not to a level yet. It'll be a little while. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> We've got to go full murder hobo on these clerics. We must. Okay, we only have one copper key. I don't know how many of these locks we can pick. Let's try. Okay, not this one. Hey, Lordly. Welcome. Uh, let's see. There are going to be more copper keys here on this level, so we just kind of need to pick a door and go for it. Uh, oh, and keep an eye out on our all-seeing eye mod for me here, because uh, last time, apparently, I loaded it at some point, and it, uh, it stopped working or stopped tracking. And nobody said anything. Y'all just let me keep playing with no working map. Ah. Because, see, I've got a different window on my end. I can see it. So I may not know if it stops, like, tracking for you. So. Keep an eye out. Ooh. Scroll of Create Food. We'll take that. Two of them. Nice. That's way better than rations. Yeah, they're gonna hit some of these buttons themselves and come out of these doors because they're like cells where the priests live. There we go. Awesome. Well, I am certainly glad that you could join us. I definitely am. I got here. This bed feels very unforgiving. Much like Dran. The guy we heard about last time from those uh, two clerics that were whispering was like, don't badmouth him. You will regret it. Okay, so this door is already open, so we don't need a key. Come on, bruh. We don't need a key to open that one this time. Uh, this one is already open. We opened it from the inside. Let's see, this, we do not have a key for that one. Likewise, I think. Good shot, nobody. Hey. Doing well. Okay, we don't have one of those keys either. That's the magic mouth. Don't have the mark of Dark Moon. Not just yet. There we go, those plus two arrows really doing the work. Let's go ahead and throw some healing out here for what little good it will do. Healing spells are based almost entirely on a dice roll, so it just kind of is what it is. Potions are a lot more reliable, but there we go. The smartest thing to do is simply to rest. Since they will accommodate that, we shall. 
Okay. Uh, so, let's see. We've got a key that will open this one, or we could loop all the way back around to the north and open that other door that is next to the stairs, which goes down to uh, the other level. Hmm. Because we don't have a red key. We don't have any of those weird copper keys. So it has to be one of those two. I think we're standing here. There's going to be another copper key anyway, probably, no matter which way we go, if I remember. So let's just do it. And... We'll explore this way. Another one of those. And here we go. Okay, so... That way we've got the loop somewhere here nearby. There should be another copper key so that we can complete the loop. What do we got? Lockpicks. Ooh, a spell book. Okay, we'll check that out later. Okay, the footsteps are getting fainter, so... Are you in here, perhaps? No. There you are. They put up a decent fight, but... They can't beat us. Even in sets of four and five. Okay, nobody's behind us. Alright, well... I guess that's that. I thought there would be another copper key pretty quickly, and it may just not... Oops. Clicked on her name. It may not uh, just not be, like, right here. But I think that those are all of the... I think those are all of the places that we can... Yeah, that shuts that. I remember now. I think that's all the places we can go without a key at this point. So if we need more copper keys, we're going to have to find them. They're going to be in a specific place, as with most keys. Like, these clerics are not going to drop them randomly. Do not have a skull lock up here, so I guess that's kind of it, actually. So I guess now we need to... Uh-oh. It's a bunch of them. Oh, oh, he leveled up. What in the world? Hit him, Grandolf. There's so many of you. Why? Come on, bruh. Just want to explore. We're not the ones who turned this temple into a, a horrible den of evil, so... Lay off. Honestly. With your nonsense. Alright, Sound Raw leveled up. Wonderful, it's level 9. Okay, let's actually see here what's in this spell book. Memorize spells. What you got? Armor, detect magic. He's got shield. Proof to identify invisibility. No assassin arrow. Dispel magic. Lightning bolt. Curse, kind of cold. Okay, 
right, so I think... Yeah, I think that that's the same. There's no new spells in the spell book. That's all right. Okay, let's see. Improved identify. We did all of that. We've got a haste hold person. Spell Bunch of ice storms. Okay, and what have you got? Because you just gain new spell slots. Burning hands, identify. Hold person, lightning bolt. Let's get rid of a lightning bolt. And let's do a fireball. Because he's got lightning bolt. Okay, I storm remove curse. Here we go. Nice. So now, because he actually knows um, a level 6 spell, Stone to Flesh, which could be really useful later on. But right here, we can do Cone of Cold or Wall of Force. Um, let's go with Wall of Force, because Grandolf has Cone of Cold, so let's give that a try. He was a level below Grandolf, so now that he is level 9, that should hopefully mean that everyone else is kind of closing in on a new level, but we'll see. So the next place we need to go is back out here onto the first floor, and we will go through that secret door that we opened last time using the Four Horns. Protection from evil. Oh, right. Here we go. Oop. Your cleric's coming. It's alright. Free XP, as far as I'm concerned. Right? He hasn't moved over, so nobody can't hit him. There we go. Good shots, though. Really proving himself. Okay, here we are. A new area. Welcome to the Silver Tower. As you reach the top of the stairs, an apparition appears. Welcome, children of Darkmoon. This is the test of faith. You must not be afraid. Here you will only be able to trust that which you truly know. Yourself. Dun dun dun. What could this mean? Hmm. Well. I'm excited to find out. Oh, <laughs> look there. Lights going on and off. Oh, he is evil, for sure. But that was like a programmed illusion, not actually a ghost. Oh, okay. So, uh, if you watch the first Eye of the Beholder, you might remember the Thracreen from the first one. We did not fight them until, like, way later on down into the dungeon. Um, there, I don't want our spell duration to run out while I'm talking. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> they, they were a threat when we met them, uh, mostly because they're really fast and because they can paralyze you. So what we're going to run into here is more, um, more mantis warriors and also giant wasps. And both of them can paralyze you, unfortunately. More importantly, uh, the mantis warriors are really fast and they hit multiple times. And the wasps, uh, well, they... Oof. Uh, they can poison you as well. Okay, so you can see there's a pattern here. Oh, shoot. I wasn't fast enough. 
Oop. Already paralyzed. Shoot. Oh, that's... Oh, they knocked her out. Oh, so I can't unparalyze anybody. Whoa, that went south really quickly. <laughs> My bad. Oh, lol, I didn't save it after we went up the stairs. Makes sense. Right, right, right. Okay, uh, there we go. Do we need anything else cast right now? Bless never hurts. Let's do a haste as well. And then, here we go. Okay, this level is a pain in the butt. But you see how you're meant to do it, of course. You have to time your steps so that you are following. Oop, not like that. Oop. Come on. There we go. These guys don't have a lot of health, but they hit really fast, so we need to take them out quickly. There we go. Much better than last time. Ooh, we got another bone key. Not a skull key, but a bone key. There we go. That was a little rough. Actually, let me do this. Lever here. There's our other arrow. Ah, that's where the bone key goes. And then this lever, I think, just opens this door. Um, let's see. I think the one to the north here is probably where we want to go. Because I believe this dead ends. And then we can rest. We can't shut this door, but I think this one over here we can. Oh, right. So these are like pods that the Thracreen come out of. I don't know why. Like, that's not... They don't just randomly hop out of a pod under normal circumstances. Can we not close that door? Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, it does look kind of like an evil cabbage. <laughs> All right. I think this... Okay, that button turns off that. There we go. Okay. Good. Thank goodness. That was the lever that turns off the lights. Phew. Now we don't have to worry about that. As long as we walk on the safe path, we're good. Okay. Well, that being the case... Uh... There is... Oh, right. Oh! 
Well, it's okay. Dang it. I wanted to see what that axe was because I can't remember. And I don't know if it's actually any good. It might not be worth anything. Oh, well, both our wizards are dead, so I won't know. Okay, well, I will come back later. No worries. Quite a nasty trap. Aha. I see you. Hey. We can shoot through the door because there's holes in it, but you have to time it correctly. Which I am not doing every time. There we go. You know what? It's probably just faster to do this. I also don't want to mix up his arrows. Yeah, I think that's all the plus two arrows. Okay, well, they're kind of mixed up anyway. Unless these are... No, those have to be the arrows I shot. There's... I don't remember a big pile of arrows. Alright, good. So now we have a room where we can rest. Good, good, good. <laughs> well, I am happy to be playing this. I'm glad that y'all are enjoying. I have been looking forward to this uh, for sure, like since we played the first one. These are some of my favorite old games. Oh, you happen upon an adventurer snoring loudly in a corner of the room. He suddenly jerks awake, instantly ready for a fight. He squints at you and grumbles. More useless clerics, I'll never get any rest. Stout Muffin says, We're not clerics of Dark Moon. We're adventurers just like you. Sorry to have awakened you. He replies, And to think I was the only one bold enough to take the test. Indeed, you are worthy of me company. May I join your party? Well, we have everybody we need. Tanglor, his name, he didn't introduce himself, Tanglor marks. Good riddance then, and leaves in a huff. Well, that's fine. We don't need him because we have Calandra. And Calandra is a very good fighter, so. We don't need another one. Aha! Oh! Click, click, chirp, click, chirp. Oh man! It's an injured Thracreen. Hmm. What shall we do? We have the option to just walk away, to kill it finish it off, or to heal it. Of course, we don't speak its language, but... You think so? I mean, that's my first instinct if offered the option, because I'm like, ah, oh, role-playing! If it's begging for mercy, we can give it some. Right. Heal it, we shall. <laughs> and this is what happens. Immediately attacks you. Ungrateful, honestly. Do you have... Okay, let's give these to him. Oh, I, think... I didn't realize he ran his Wand of Lightning um, out of charges, so... Yeah, that'll, that'll teach us to be nice. The Thracreen, I don't think really... Um, are meant to understand gratitude the way we do. Exactly. Yep, scorpion frog all over again. <laughs> exactly. See, there you go, crow. 
role-playing experience points, and XP for beating the fight. There we go. They're probably going to get a hit in almost every time, but... That's okay, as long as we finish them off. Alright, let's do this. And let's go ahead and we will identify these things. Oh my gosh. It won't let it because it's two-handed. Uh, here we go. There. You have to do it in a roundabout way. It's kind of dumb. Plus one pole arm. Dagger. Oh! No. Now listen. There. All right. Hey, that's right. Let's do that. That works. Because we actually want to keep this for now. Now, correctly click, we have non-magical dagger. I could use detect magic to see what which ones are magic before I waste the spell, but also non-magical dagger. But we're about to rest anyway, so no harm done. I don't know how far we'll get tonight, but the, uh, the different towers that you have to go through uh, of which I, if I remember correctly, there are three. Um, silver, blue, and red. Um, I think that the silver tower has three floors. And it says tower, but I mean, you can already see the layout is kind of... We've got some of that WTF dungeon architecture going on, so make of that what you will. Perhaps when we go up those stairs, we're being teleported to another location. Who knows? Could be anything, really. Can't remember. Do they... Yeah, okay. I think we're, we're good. No new Mantis men spawned. I really feel free to tell me that axe right there. I do not remember if it's any good. It may not be worth it. There may not be any reason to, to worry about it. way, maybe? Ooh, longsword. Hunger. And nothing in this one, okay. The plaque reads, what can be trusted? Hmm. Oh, absolutely, Zeno. At some point, I would like to get to all of the old uh, D and D classics like Azure Bonds, Pools of Radiance, uh, Dark Sun, Spelljammer, all of them. And I know not all of them are phenomenal games. Uh, some of them are kind of, you know, they are what they are. Uh, but um, I think that they are all worth like digging into and showing off because um you know they they left a legacy so it doesn't matter what uh you know the the game turns out to be it's that it it affected other games that came after it and so those are worth showing off 
Okay, let's see. That's plus two rock. Plus one rock, plus two. Okay, here. That's what we need to do. Oh, no. This way. Just throwing these daggers at the ground. I'm trying to remember all of the secrets and stuff as I go, but if I if it looks like I'm going to miss something, feel free to let me know in a non-spoilery way for, for chat, not for me. I have played this stuff. Boom. Ta-da. Here, actually, because he'll need to identify that. So we'll do that. I think, is there another plaque? Yes. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I think that's a Wand of Lightning, if I remember correctly. I think, but I won't swear to it. It might be a Wand of Frost or Magic Missile. I'm positive it's not a Wand of Fire. <sighs> okay. Now comes the part that sucks. We've got to find a way out through here because there is nowhere else to go but this way um i think God, this is let me save just in case think this is where we do this? Hmm, no. Dang it. There we go, in case I need my rock. <laughs> well, no. Oh my gosh. I have done that so many times where I accidentally, I'm one pixel off like right here and I'll accidentally click a wand or something. Instead of clicking their spell book. Ugh, boo hiss. Clumsy. No. Okay, now I was on the spell book that time. I saw that. Oh. Is that why I've been doing it? I didn't realize that hitbox comes down like... Like several pixels. See where the tip of my mouse is? It was like on that first line of text on the spell book. Wow. That goes way down there. Okay, you know what? So you have to be halfway in this box. Otherwise you are clicking the wand. So you know what? I absolve myself of all previous wasted wand charges and accidental casting. That is not my fault. Uh, anyway, spells that we have to help. Not really. Wall of Force is not going to do anything. We don't have... Like, there are spells like Protection from Electricity, for example. Protection from Lightning. And we just don't have them in this game. Which is a shame, but... <laughs> That's the good stuff. I can't remember what this amulet does either. Did we ever actually identify it? You know what? Let me try that. I don't remember if we did. Huh. Okay, so we know it's magical, but I don't know that it actually does anything. Hmm. Well, at least I've double checked. So. Um. Oh man, what am I supposed to do here? Did I miss a switch? Because we found Tanglor. Tanglor. 
We found the Mantis key. Um... I don't... There's not anything special that we have to do, I don't think. looking at the map trying to remember we might just have to power through it I don't want to do that but I can't remember if there is something else specific that I need to do I'm gonna check up here in these rooms to the north one more time and just see if I missed anything. I was not really carefully looking at the walls. Exactly, just back up and take a look. It's been a while since I played Eye of the Beholder 2, so my memory is for sure gonna be like foggy. Not great at the best of times, unless it's a game I have played like 10,000 times. I don't think there are any switches on these walls. through there. We open this with the bone key. We open this. There was nothing else in here. I don't think so. That's a good thought because there have been lots of those already in a very short time in this game. But I don't think there are. Like, could I go through here? No. Stop down here, but I did not try for illusory walls. Nobody mentioned anything, like Grandolf didn't say, hey, this wall's fake, but they don't always. Hmm. Ugh, I think I may just have to walk through it. To be fair, I guess this could also maybe be an illusion? Possibly? I guess we're gonna find out. Because remember, what can you trust other than yourself, right? It's the test of faith. Yep, okay. It was in fact bad and terrible. That's okay. Nobody died, luckily. <laughs> oh, man. Well. It's all right, now we're on the other side. That's all that matters. I am, however, gonna do this. Because Grandolf at least is pretty hurt. They've got more hit points like wounded than he's got all day, I think, unharmed. So we'll just use that on him and then Stout Muffin will be fine. There we go. It works out. It's fine. It's so fine. Okay. Um, can't go that way. I don't see a switch. So that means this one is... Oh! Oh! 
Thank you, Stout Muffin. I forgot about that. It's been a while since we did that. I forgot we could. It's just like, eh, it's okay. Just force it. Oh. Of the bones you need three together. They are the key. Another magic mouth spell. Uh, yes, I think so. We need to... What is it? This one's actually visible as like an opening. Uh, I think you have to feed it bones to get the key. I don't remember if it's one or whatever. It might be two or three or five. So we have to find bones. We have some bones. We've got Terrence here. And we could always go back downstairs and there are like loose femurs and things everywhere, but... Yeah, they are pretty creepy. Okay, we've got a copper key here. Ah, uh, this one I think we can do. Because we do not have a copper key, but we have this green slime lock. Well, that probably, almost certainly, is this key, right? At least, if there's anything good about Thracreen, it is that they count as large creatures, and so only one of them can be uh, within combat range of you at one time, because they aren't using ranged attacks. Okay, I was like waiting for them to come around, but they're just standing there. Suddenly the air is filled with a high-pitched whistle. You turn just in time to see a mantis warrior throw a sphere-like object at you. Haha! -ha. You won't get me. You can dodge that. Oof. Oh. Ooh. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, God. Walked forward after I cast it. Boo. Boo hiss. Ice Storm is honestly such a bad spell. is paralyzed and we only have one remove paralysis you know what I think I'm gonna do actually I think that this is just a really good idea I am actually going to um, I'm gonna change out her create food because we have two scrolls of it so I'm gonna cast it now and that way everybody benefits from it. And then I'm going to change that out for another remove paralysis. Because this is the floor where we're going to need it. <laughs> yeah, we don't... Uh, we don't need another incident, right? Listen, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whole person slow points in. Create food. Let's do remove paralysis. Prayer. Uh, we haven't needed a dispel magic either, but I'm hesitant to not have one on hand when we do. Good here. 
think that's good. Do we need to change anything here? He's got four ice storms because there just aren't a lot of good fourth level spells. Actually... We haven't needed invisibility either. That's another one though where it's like, man, I hate to not have one when we do need it. But it's probably fine to not have it and maybe swap that for a fireball. Uh, dispel magic? Yes, uh, it breaks other spells. And it can also do things like if an enemy has cast a buff on itself, it will strip the buff off. Okay, here we go. Let's do that. There we go. No longer paralyzed. Oh, she doesn't have it back yet, though. Okay. Got to keep resting. We didn't rest all the way. I was trying to just get her unparalyzed and thought we'd go on, but her spell wore off and we got to recast it. That's okay. Man, making slow progress today. Because I got hung up on the lightning tile puzzle. Actually, wait before I do that. There. Paralysis sucks. Probably the worst status effect. I would rather be poisoned. Because at least that takes time to kill you. You know, so you have time to potentially... Uh, maybe... Like, do something about it. Here we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. Button here, we've got a pit. Oh. <laughs> Stout Muffin says the floor here doesn't seem structurally sound. No, I bet it does not. It's probably the giant hole in it, honestly. Okay. Alright, so we don't want. Ice storm piled up on us. Let's just go one by one. Okay. Good clean fight. What do we got? Ooh, Mage Scroll of Dispel Magic. Oh, hey. Hey. Well, that solves some problems, doesn't it? Scribe Scroll. He didn't know Dispel Magic, and now he does, so... What's this? Iron Rations. We don't need that. How's our food doing, though? Okay, we're fine. Our hunger goes down pretty quickly. Oh, that reminds me. Spell of Blur. Yes, here we go. I did this so we could identify things as we go along, and then I haven't been doing it. Okay, it is a Wand of Lightning. And this... Oh, Lord. 
It's cursed. Oh, right. Oh, no. Okay, here, wait a minute. We need to get that off because... There we go. <laughs> Minus two, cursed longsword. Hunger. Yes, that is the sword that while you are holding it, it causes your food meter to go down faster. And that sucks. Okay, we do not have another Mantis key. So we'll have to go elsewhere first. Um, here we go. Hey. Oop. We fell. Switched where the pit was. Dang it. There's the mantis key. Okay. It was me. I fell for the trap. <laughs> I was thinking I was clever. I was thinking you throw the, an object across at that button and it closes the pit. And no, instead it opens another pit under you so that you fall down where that teleporter's at. Oh, already? Okay. Oh, alright. That's fine. That was quick. Sometimes it seems like they just get in and they paralyze you instantly. Um, you know, on, on basically every hit. And then sometimes it seems like, you know, with RNG, uh, they'll wail on you two or three through green in a row. The egg is warm and sticky. Um, and uh, they won't actually paralyze anybody. Well, not this time. Because they can paralyze us, I have to do these one at a time. Oh my god, see? Whoa. Yep, okay. It's alright, that's why this room is here. Yeah, if I'm going to be resting this much, I just need to use my buffs more. I was hoping to get through here um, because we imported our party and they're a little bit stronger. Uh, to, like, not have to do this as much. But honestly... Play this game. Let's do it. Let's do it like we're real adventurers. I think we have found their nest, says not JMK. I think you might be right. No, nope. oh. they were giving me my arrow. I know the egg is warm and sticky, I don't care. Instantly, wow. That one just right out the gate. So, wait a minute, actually. I just realized something. Memorize. 
he doesn't have a okay never mind okay that's fine yeah that's fine I was looking at the dispel magic situation because I realized she's got one memorized I think that's the one we were talking about just a second ago though try to get at least one more before we have to rest again since Stout Muffin is not paralyzed. There we go, not bad. Didn't want to pick up that arrow, huh? Oop. Now she is, that's okay. All right, wizards, come on. Hey. There we go. Sun Rawl in with the kill. Okay, here we go. We got green eyes. Hey, Barnabas. Oh, welcome. Okay, uh... Here. This I will not budge. Copper key... Glass sphere, we know what these are. Mantis idol. Is that what I was supposed to do? I think so? There's a place where you need, like, a bunch of gems. Um... Oh... I think... No, I think that that's somewhere else. I th yeah, okay, I think that's somewhere else. So I did these eggs one at a time because, one, it's just the smart thing to do, right? You see this, and anybody who, even if you've not seen Alien, you know. Or Alien 2, rather. Aliens. Um, <clears throat> but if you get here to where the eyes are in the wall and you have not destroyed all of these eggs, they all hatch at one time. Uh, and that is what we like to call in the adventuring business a problem. Okay, protection from evil. Oh, I didn't step here. Just trying to fill in the map. Oop. Whoa, where'd you spawn from? Hello? Sir? Wow. Okay. Oop. literally just popped up behind us. Wow. Uh, what was I thinking? I completely, that stole my train of thought. Right, here we go. We got the copper key. Now, was there anything else we picked up that we needed to identify that we had not. I don't think so. Other than this, which yeah, we can go ahead and do that. 
we know what it is, but... Fire Sphere. Who would be a good person to hang on to these? Actually, that's a scroll of Fireball. It's a scroll of Blur. He should have one, and that way he's got two Fireballs in that hand. That's Cure Poison, Extra Healing. Rearrange, there we go. Okay. Good stuff. All right, upstairs. Yes, we do, um, but we don't have the bones yet. This is where we need that key, but we have to like get the bones first. Oh. Oh, here they are. Oh, no. Here's the wasps. They don't have a lot of hit points, but as you see, they are fast and annoying. And the first thing that they did was come up and paralyze Stout Muffin. So there you go. Let's go ahead, actually, and I'll do this while we continue to explore the level. I think that there are bones on this floor. I don't think. Uh, I don't think that we have to go all the way back down into the catacombs and, like, steal the bones that we left there. This, a wasp nest. Yeah, I thought burning hands would do it. It's a fireball. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. I was thinking you could destroy the nests to stop the wasps from spawning. Maybe I was wrong, though. Coming up this way. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Why do I even bother using that spell, honestly? It's so awful. It is just not ever worth it. Unless you are in, like, a, a really long hallway and there's... like 40 spaces between you and and whatever you're shooting at speaking of which a torch hey love pixels in the chat uh we don't have any torches Unfortunately. Oh, I didn't lure them sufficiently. Nope. Okay. Still? Okay. Well, a waste of an ice storm isn't really a waste of a spell, is it?
Oh, that's why, because they're stuck here. Got one. Oh, poisoned, boo, and paralyzed. Oof, that's not good. Well, now we're going to have to address that for sure. Okay, let's neutralize poison first. Absolutely, we must. Okay, we'll do this because enemies can't come up the stairs behind us. Out of remove paralysis, so we have no choice. We must indeed rest. That's okay. This one's a bit of a slog because of the paralysis. Because, you know, normally I'll do like a couple or three floors of the dungeon in one stream in a couple of hours, but not this floor. Definitely not this floor. They have like little patrol patterns, so they won't chase you all through the level for the most part. But you will see like this whole section is just a huge pain in the ass. Not least of all because you have to uh, listen to that noise over and over again. There's some bones. Oh. There we go, didn't need to shoot that one. So fine. Okay, here we go. Here. Femur. Potion of pure poison. Oh. Bruh. Leave me alone. Okay, we got another copper key. There appears to be movement off in the wasp nest. That could have been bad, but thankfully, it wasn't. So no harm done. Tell you what, though, I am, like, itching to level up. Okay, so that goes to the rest of the wasp nest. We have a bone... And so that's to show us that we do need multiple bones, but like even if we sacrificed Terrence, uh, we're still going to be one bone short. Dang it. Okay, so we're going to have to go back downstairs. There's no help for it. <laughs> oh, 
All right, at least the monsters downstairs are not as strong or as much of a hassle. So. Okay, now. Where's gonna be the best place to find bones? If I remember correctly, there should be some. Uh, down in the prison cells. Which, oop. <laughs> Just turn around and leave. The spider's not even worth killing. I went down the wrong set of stairs. Need to go east first. Then west. I believe is correct. Let's see. Am I right? Yes, here we go. This is where we want to be. can actually hang on to this now. No reason not to take that with us, because we have some room. Here we go. A femur. A skull. I think... As I said, I, I think that it's, um, like, three bones. It might be five, but I think it's three, because three's always, like, a magic number, right? So we've got four. That way we will know whether it is three or five, because if it is three, we have enough. If it's four, we have enough, although that would be weird. Um, and if it's five, we can put four in, and it won't be enough still, and we will know that then it is five. It's not more than that. Because there are um, some other bones at different locations in here that we have left behind, but you don't have to have like a whole backpack of bones. Okay, let's rest though. Because we're out of uh, remove paralysis, I think, again. Plus, we're going to have to walk back through the lightning trap, so we just we need to be at full health for that. I really do feel like there is a way that you can either switch that off or get through it without damage, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it is. There we go. We only rested four days. It's probably fine. Oh, wait a minute. That's back up into the temple. I need to go through the secret door in the wall. There we go. Okay. Could be worse, I guess. Could also be better, but could be worse. <laughs> Thank you for the encouragement. We are doing our best. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I missed a step. I had all these bones in my backpack and thought the problem was solved. And that is false. Oh no, wait a minute, it's over here. Isn't it? Yes? No? Yes, here, okay. 
I was confused because we had to force the door again. It was closed for some reason. Of the bones, you need three together. They are the key. Right, okay. So it is three. Hey, you have made me very happy. Now I reward you with the key. Thanks, I guess. Also gross. Yeah, it's very, very weird. Are you serious? How? How? What? How? Literally spawned behind us as we came in. Fuck off. Wait a minute, let's... Here we go. I guess if you squint, I kind of see it. Like, I see where you're getting it from. Four levers and a plaque. Faith is the key. Oh man. Um I oh, why do you keep doing that? Joke is there we go on me, it's because I had to rebind my keys so that I could move without reaching all the way across to the right side of my keyboard. Jadent. <laughs> jadent. We are Jadent because she is not Jadem, okay? Oh, that's really funny. I was not ready. Thank you for that. Oh, okay. Uh. Right, okay. I think that moves it around. Did I get it? I think I got it. Oh, did I get it on the first try? Nice. I hope that was right. <laughs> I don't know. Sonral says, wait, one of the lower bricks on the west wall is out of place. So it is. Okay, that resets the pits. Um... Okay, so I guess I did do it correctly. Do I need to drop down where the pits are at? Probably at least once. Ring of Feather Falling, baby. Okay, so there's nothing special here. That's fine. So what was it? It was this one. This one. This one? Yes. Okay. Q. 
can't pry this door open. I don't see any other switches, though. Push that in. Uh, don't... really remember what that does, though. Okay, something's messed up, because what that button is supposed to do is it's supposed to actually close this pit and it disappears. So it's registering that the button did do that properly. Except that it's not disappearing. Even the all-seeing eye mod is showing that there is still a pit there. So, um... So there we go. Okay, well, now I need to rest. We can do that, though. Uh, no, Adel, the game does not have music. It has, like, a title track song that plays at the main menu, like, during character creation and uh, during the opening cinematic, where you're setting up the story. Uh, but it does not have any of its own background music. There are ports of it that do, and that's the same for the other uh, Eye of the Beholder games as well. Like the Sega CD version, for example, um, I believe has a pretty banging soundtrack. Yeah, faith is the key. <laughs> does it really doesn't have anything to do with this, does it? Other than I mean, if I'm positive that that is supposed to disappear. It's not an illusory pit. Right. So the whole like it would make sense if this was an Indiana Jones thing, like faith is the key. You need to be brave enough to like walk out over the hole because secretly it's not there, but like no, it is in fact there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know. I'm just going to kill some wasps about it. That's what we're going to do. See, that would have been the rare, like, perfect timing for a, uh, whatchamacallit, an ice storm. Why you got such a long cooldown on burning hands there, Sanral? Oop. There we go. Okay, here. We need to neutralize poison. Yeah, no, exactly. That's that's what I'm thinking, you know, it's like it it means if it was like the leap of faith in uh Indiana Jones it would be different, but um that that pit is supposed to disappear and not be there. <laughs> I am positive. Oh, there's a key. keyhole. I'm sorry. I said that like twice now during the stream. It's like, oh, there's a key. No. There is a place to put a key. We need the key. We do not have one. It's a shame this isn't like in Lands of Lore where you could burn the wasp nests. I swear I thought you could. Oop. Backstabbed. You got me. You got me there. Okay, do we have a copper key? We do. There we go. I don't know, it's one of those puzzles that, like, it's supposed to make sense, but, and it would, I guess, if maybe if it didn't glitch. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just misremembering. I'm pretty sure that pit's supposed to disappear, though, but I, I might be wrong. Greetings once again. You have almost completed the test of faith. There is one more obstacle which you must face. Indeed. You have learned well, and I trust that our teachings have not been in vain. The door to the left will lead you to the next trial. The door to the right is almost certain death.
So you say. Now, of course, you know what this means, right? Like, this is supposed to go to the next trial. The other one leads to almost certain death. So, I have saved it. I will show you. There we go. See, this sends you back to the beginning of the whole section. And deals a bunch of damage to you. This one is a lot more obvious. This one is just like, no, you need to pick the door that says certain death. Because you have to have faith, remember? Faith is the key. There we go. Oh boy, okay, well. Let's make the most of our buffs while we've got them. Nobody says, I thought I heard someone whistling in the distance. Where it did. Thought I heard someone whistling. Oh, did you did you look it up? Okay, yeah. No, tell me, because at the very least, I want to know if I'm like if I was wrong. Because I'm starting to suspect that maybe that is just the case. <laughs> That's always. A possibility. I, like I said, I, I was pretty sure that's what that brick was supposed to do. It took me a while to remember. I knew it had something to do with solving the puzzle. And then I remembered the order of the levers, but then I, it felt like the button was not working right. But maybe I was misremembering. Maybe it does just turn the, the pit into an illusion or, like, put the floor back invisibly so you can stand on it and pull the fourth lever. Okay, so that is what it is. Okay, see, I thought that the pit was supposed to completely disappear. But instead, it puts an invisible floor on top of it. Alright, well, we got through it. My dumbassery aside, we got through it. <laughs> we did solve the puzzle. Thankfully. Okay, now, uh, so this section coming up is... Uh, it's bad. It can be bad because there are snakes here and so there's a lot of poison going on um most importantly for those of you who might not like it uh there are like a bunch more magic mouths on this level and i think this is the floor where stuff starts to explode when you kill it i think What we got here okay that's a bone key here we go the last children of dark moon did not heed our warnings now they are the dust which we blow down these corridors will you become dust as well seek my brothers but beware their fangs Snakes. Can hear them. Okay, here we're gonna need these. I think. That's a truly jaunty way of saying we killed everyone who used to live in this temple. Black reads the way through three is two, not four. Hundred percent honesty. I do not remember this bit. Let's see. Okay, this is two. Yes. Okay, two. And then this is one and three. Way through three is two, not four. The snake floor. Okay. 
An unseen voice bellows, Tisk Tisk, I thought you were wiser than this. Haha. Foolish. It's a fireball trap. Oh god. Gross. Yep, those are the exploding enemies. That's what I thought. They look like beholders. They're not actually. But they suck because they blow up and damage you like a fireball when you kill them. When we have feasted, it is I who sings the praise. When we have hungered, it is I who breathes the pain. Whoa. Hello. What in the world is... happened? I think it's a trap. I think it's like spitting fireballs or something at our backs. We'll just sidestep that. Oh! There are the snakes. Not exactly what you might think. Uh, is there anything here? Don't think so. flying snakes, so. Uh, let's try this way. Ah, we forced the door. Good, yes. Excellent. Rotten food. Oh no. We hate that. I think the gas bags are designed to make you kind of panic um, if you have played the first one because they use the Xanathar's sprite or something very close to it. Oop. And it's like, you see that and you go, oh man, no way, like we're, we're not equipped to fight that because a beholder is a, is a big deal and um, we don't have that special wand anymore that killed him last time. Right? So you see that and immediately it's like, Oh god, it's the Xanathar! What's happening? Didn't we kill you? Ah! I remember there's a whole cutscene about it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Attack with sword. Oh, well it was bound to happen sooner or later. That's what they do. Ooh, we don't have a neutralized poison. Uh-oh. Okay, we got a dark moon key. Cover this. Oh my goodness gracious. Just keep coming from here. Okay, well. Take that. <laughs> Rotten food at the... Okay, let's see. Can I... We get neutralized poison back. We did not. Okay, I'm just gonna have to use a potion of cure poison. That's fine. That's what we got them for. It is pretty lame, though. 
that poison just literally lasts until you cure it. And there's nothing else you can do about it. It doesn't just last like so many hours or anything. It's like, that's not how poison works, generally speaking, but... Yeah, theoretically. You would think. Because it's a case of like, if you are actually playing this this creature by its like... Um, you're playing, like, actually properly role-playing its intelligence and wisdom and charisma scores or what have you, then... It should be surrounded by traps and so forth. It should be anticipating you. Welcome, children. You have done well thus far. However, your temperament has yet to be challenged. Take heed as you travel forth. You must not tarry. Consider all that you have learned, and choose the right door. Choose wrongly, and feel my master's wrath. You know, we'll just come back in a second. Can't pry that one open. This one, however, has a button. There we go. Oop. That's what you're supposed to do is shoot them from a long way away. trust this shelf. It's supposed to be on here. Hopefully something useful. Oh! Potion of Cure Poison. Hey. I think it's... Yeah, okay. It's a bunch of those. Do you... Yeah, he's got one. It's just blue. Do you have one? Yes. It's also what that is. You should have one? Yes, it's also just blue for some reason. Okay, scroll of race dead. Can always use more of those. Cure poison, cure poison, cure poison. Never have too many of those. The more I have, the more comfortable I feel using them. <laughs> now you've got me laughing, Zeno, because what I'm seeing is like a beholder or a dragon. Like, like, this dragon on top of its horde talking to a paladin or something, you know, and it's like stroking this little cat, and it's like, No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. <laughs> okay, let's see. What is magical and what is not? These are not magical. This is magical. This is magical. Awesome. This is magical. Okay. So let's identify. Oh, right. Pole arm. I forgot. Oh! Uh oh. It's cursed. Oh, nobody leveled up. Yay! Oh, and us without remove curse. Oh man, we have all those ice storms and he's the only one that's got remove curse. And now he can't cast it because he's got a two-handed weapon. Damn it. All right, that's fine. Let's get rid of some of these ice storms anyway. There, we'll take a couple of those. <laughs> Hilarious. There we go. Okay. Minus two cursed polearm. Leech. 
has been. Ooh. Come on. Come on. I see you. There we go. They don't have a lot of hit points, thankfully. Okay, plus two banded armor. Ooh, all right. Now I think hers is... Oh, she's got plus three banded armor. He can't wear that type of armor. Mm. And this is plus two plate mail, and this is regular plate mail. Okay, is plus two banded mail better? That's minus four. Minus three. It is not. Wow. Plate mail really do just be like that, though. Okay, well, that's fine. I would say it's a shame, except I guess it doesn't matter since it's plus two anyway. Plus three short sword. Nice, hey. Now we can do this if we feel like it. So that's a plus two short sword and plus five long sword. So if she's got the plus four sword, she can have the plus three short sword. Awesome, I think that works. That evens out, right? Okay, now. There's just so many of them. Come on. There's like an infinite supply. Like that's it's literally they just do not stop spawning. I don't think. Okay, so now we have to pick one door or the other. Uh, so, a hundred percent, I don't, I'm not going to claim to remember this part. Um, I don't, I don't know. I feel, I think, is there any difference? Okay, it does block the other one off. Silly lamb, you have strayed far from the path you have not learned. This is a lesson you shall not soon forget. Ah, damage. Perhaps we should rest and gain our bearings, says Sunral. I was about to say, I think there's a clue in what the, the illusion or ghost or whatever it is tells you. Uh, because she says you have to choose the right door. And I think, like, that's the clue, is that you literally have to choose the right door, not the left one. Yeah. An unseen voice whispers, Very good, very wise. You will make a fine addition to the second order. May you have continued success. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to have... Nobody. Carry that key. He's level 11 now. Very nice. I hate that you can't actually see, like, their hit points and stuff, but... Oh, yeah. And it's, no, it's, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about that chaotic neutral alignment. Mind your business. Um, I don't remember how to open this door. Oh, him? Yeah. Well, listen, we give Drizzt a pass. So, well, we have to... We have to be willing to take a chance on other Dark Elves. I... Is there a button I missed? Uh, 
I don't think so. Doesn't have to, I don't have to put something else back on that, right? No, there's nothing here. Hmm. Well, listen, I don't blame Drizzt for anything that's happened to him. Or us. <laughs> I feel like at a at a certain point it's like um you know even RA Salvatore is kind of doing the best that he can with what he's got. So uh he's got to write within their world. They're the ones that keep doing stuff like killing Mistra over and over again so that they have to reinvent the story. Oops. That's their glorified reset button. Don't know what to do? New team has taken over in the next edition? Kill Mistra. Let's have a spell plague about it. That's probably fine. Worked for Netheril. Worked for Karsis, right? I'm not going to call R.A. Salvatore a hack because I enjoy his books. Some of them, not all of them, of course. But I will say that having read uh, some of his original material, it strikes me that uh, he generally is a better writer, in my opinion, when he is writing in a world that somebody else has constructed. as opposed to one that he has made up himself. Um, where are we? Oh, hey, Dan. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Much appreciated. Join us for some Eye of the Beholder, too. I need all the help I can get this stream, don't I, folks? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Um, what am I doing? Other than killing snakes. Like, obviously we're killing flying snakes, but... Yeah, exactly, Lordly. That's the thing. Like, some people... Uh, is, you know, like using D&D &D for an example. Uh, some people are magnificent players when you give them a story to work with. If you tell them, here is the story I want to tell, and I would like for you to be part of it, and here are the ways in which you can do that, and they will bring you this like amazing character with their own backstory that fits in and all these interconnecting pieces, and it helps you to run a game that you never could have accomplished on your own. But then if you ask them to sit down and actually like DM for you, uh, then like they're not going to be any good at it, and that's completely okay that happens. It's just some people have one set of skills and some people have another. Don't have what he wants yet, I don't think. Or what it wants, rather. And it's the same in reverse. There are some people who, um, you know, they are phenomenal storytellers and uh, they are great at running a game because they have all of these notes and they can see behind the curtain because this is a, a story that they wrote and an adventure that they want to tell. Um, but, or vice versa. <laughs> but then if you make them a player, they, you know, kind of feel trapped or stifled because they don't have all of that information. And they don't uh, play as well as they DM. Here we go. Nobody's got it. Now, I will agree with you, Duwa, that, um... Oh, no, 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 oh. Now, oh my god, okay. Come on, come this way. I'll, I'll accept one. It's like that arrow moves so slowly. Oh, that thing should have blown up long before it was up in my face. be fair but yeah no I ooh. 
I knew there was another one. I was waiting. Come on. What? In the... Oh. Great. More snakes. We love that for us. Hey! It dropped a ring. That's... Something. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. At least those things don't respawn. Neutralize poison. There we go. Here we go. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do agree. I think the series has gone on... Um, way too long. I, I think that uh, they, they got everything that they can out of it, but unfortunately Drizzt is just too popular to, to just simply stop writing his books as long as people keep buying them. And yeah, Lordly. See, like, that's me. I love to play. I don't get to play nearly as much as I would like to. Uh, you know, everyone has a file folder uh, full of character ideas that they know they're probably never going to get to play. Um, but I am the forever DM, so. Man, I wish I could get some Ghostbusters up in here, Dan. Some of these monsters, like, I am, I am sick of these apparitions and spirits. Okay, we have a Dark Moon key, so we can go through that door. I want to go north first. What's here? Oh, there's another Dark Moon key. Uh, hole. Key hole. I keep doing that. Why do I keep doing that? So there's a key. Like, no, it's very distinctly a hole in the wall. Okay, that is a brick I can move. Hmm. Do I want to push this? Oh yeah, like no one's gonna say Drizzt can't get it. We've been new. Yeah, the file thing, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so there is a door with a switch. Here is a door with a switch. Okay, we know the rules. The rules are, do not open a new door until you have explored all the hallways and doors and things that are already open. This is a really long hallway. Oh. No, it's not. You, you fool, starfish. <laughs> That's what the button is for. Nobody says, I feel dizzy. Yeah, well. It's because the magic there turns you around. That's what it kept doing. <laughs> I walked through that like three times, I think. It was just like, doo dee doo dee doo Excellent! Excellent! Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I need all the encouragement I can get. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he is a little low, isn't he? Oh, look at that. Let's see. That's why we don't even bother. That was a cure serious wounds. And that was a cure light wounds. See how much more it healed? Because second edition healing spells suck. Say what you will about 3E and anything that happened therein, but. As someone who grew up in a second edition household, second edition healing uh, is not good. And I don't think that that is like the coldest take at the table. And yes, yeah, he is a he is a dark elf. He is a drow. Okay, let's see. Let's more snakes. Surprising no one. I hate this level. But not as much as I hate the fact that when those fake beholders like blow up. They only hurt you and not other enemies, as far as I can tell. Okay, that is a potion of vitality. We love that for us. Where is our... here we go. No, that's... Where is create food? 
Who has those? She's got them. Okay. Let's do that. They're getting a little hungry. There, that's better. No, it's they're just uh they're just dice rolls. Lordly. All of them are dice rolls, and just the higher level the healing spell, the more dice you roll. But what that means is it's the same as with any kind of ability that has a dice pool. Um, you know, you can always roll all ones. Oh, oh no. Protection from evil wore off. Oh, well, that means we rest. <laughs> not going out there without my buffs on. Or at least not with that buff. The other buffs are negotiable, depending on what we're fighting. Yeah, and this was this was in the age before you did things like add your wisdom modifier, or your level, or one half your level rounded up, or something like to the amount that is healed. There was none of that at this time. It was just like, roll 1d8 for cure light wounds, roll 2d8 for cure moderate wounds, or whatever. And so cure critical wounds would be like 4d8. Which means that it could heal four. <laughs> it's like, that's a great expenditure of a fifth or sixth level spell slot. Uh, what does the Potion of Vitality do? Potions of Vitality, if I remember correctly. They are like a potion of healing. They give you a bunch of um, hit points, but they also cure poison. So it's like a potion of extra healing and a potion of cure poison rolled into one. So we need to do this, actually. We picked that up and have not identified it yet. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, you know, it's these open hallways. These breezy hallways are just full of snakes. But if you shut a door on them, you know, they're snakes. How are they going to get through? Oh, a ring of adornment. Oh. Get out of here. That's a fake enchantment. Ring of Adornment means, like, it it's magical, but it doesn't do anything. It literally just takes up a ring slot without any bonuses. So it's like someone put Nistul's magic aura on it or something. I feel dizzy. There we go. Yeah, exactly. Like, you got a bonus to Riz. Well, not even that, because then, like, at least that would improve a saving throw or, or you know, a skill check or something. Oh, get away. No one wants you here. You are an annoyance. What kind of key. Okay, another Dark Moon key. She's got one. Okay, here. Uh, nobody, you hold not Terrence. Come on. Come on, I see you. Come on, line up. There we go. They only have like one hit point. Because they're meant to die. They are intended to die so that they can blow up and deal fireball damage. Is there anything in this room? I don't see it. I'm not seeing anything interesting. Okay. Well, this either is going to lead to stairs, teleporters, or a dead end because it is too close to the edge of the map to do anything else. And it's a dead end. Oh, 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 what? Yes! Oh, I forgot this was that room. Oh my god, yes! 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 Quick, learn it. So he does not have any 6th level spell slots yet. But that might be the single best 6th level spell that there is. Uh, not just in this game, but like generally speaking in D&D, depending on what you're talking about, which edition and whatever. So for those of you who do not know or cannot tell from the name, Disintegrate famously just 
erases a monster. I mean, it does a bunch of damage, and they have to make a saving throw. Uh, if they make the saving throw, they still take an enormous amount of damage. If they fail the saving throw, they are blasted into dust. So... <laughs> oh, well. There we go. My keybinds. Ah, uh, my keybinds. <laughs> yes, exact. No, like, not, not me carrying my spell book with me everywhere. Longing for the day. Okay, we have two Dark Moon keys. Just lugging it around in your backpack like a pet. Yeah, that's one of the most fun things you can do, I think, as a DM in an adventure like this, is, like, have a low-level character and just toss them a really powerful magic item. Or if you have a wizard in the party, like, give them a scroll of a spell that is a way too high level for them to learn. And then they have to hold on to it, and you get to watch and enjoy as they cling to it, trying their best uh, not to use it in a fight and, like, cast it on somebody because they're trying to save it for when they can scribe it into their book. Yeah, if I remember correctly, that sounds right, Zeno, is like, um, Raise Dead definitely does not work because Raise Dead requires at least a chunk of the body, if not all of it, and the dust does not count. Resurrection, I think, doesn't require a body, so it might work, because that's like the difference between them, uh, but it might be Wish, because in 2nd edition it was different. So, later on, I think in like Pathfinder and 3rd edition, that's what it became, was Resurrection would work, um, but Raised Dead would not. Well, that's one of the things I love about 5e is stuff like the scaling cantrips, you know, uh, gives you an enormous amount of staying power where you don't have to hoard um, spell slots nearly as much because you've still got something up your sleeve, I think. True resurrection or wish only? Okay. That makes sense. Let's... That way we've got a save where we can go back to before we've done too much uh, in case I spent that key in the wrong place. Items born of greed are what I need. One for each year and one less to fear. Items born of greed. One for each year and one less to fear. Items born of greed. I don't know. Oh, I wonder if it wants jewelry. Because we have, like, this amulet, and then there's the ring of adornment. But no, well, I don't know, because a snake dropped that, but I thought it was a random drop. It could be the ring. One's refuse is another's gold. Your famine is my feast. Uh, I think that might be the rotten food from further on in the level. There's a bunch of these. Nature's beauty is my meat. Tiny and red, tis such a treat. Uh, I think that's like a ruby. I think. From the fiends, from below. Find the item with the hidden glow. Find this thing, find it for me. For only then shall I set you free. Sure. I must have the blade which has eaten so much. I must have the one which I fear not to touch. Oh, that's the oh, that's the hunger sword. Ugh. Blah. That one doesn't have anything to say yet. Or did we already talk to it? No matter how parched, no matter if rolled, no matter if magic, no matter how old. I think it needs a scroll. No matter how parched, no matter if rolled, yet saying like a document of some kind. I think. I am parched, I am dry, give me liquid so I can cry. Uh, that one might be a potion? 
and you have to do like all of those to open this one door. <laughs> what that mouth do? Hey, hey, what that mouth do? Lol. Uh, delivers cryptic riddles and messages. Oh, I did it again. There we go. Six here. Was it this one? Where did I throw the ring? Not there. I think it's back down the other way, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You see them pop up and it's like, uh, I'm just not going to say anything. Okay, let's go here first, because... Oh. Oh, they got her. It's okay. It's what this is for. Oh my god! gut feeling. Okay, well, who has all those extra potions? There we go. <laughs> Green is not her color, no. And uh, I should say, because I, I did not, for those of y'all who came in with Dan on the raid, um, feel free to, uh, to follow or sub if you are an Eye of the Beholder fan because uh, this is the current Saturday series. I'm playing this every Saturday until we get all the way through it. And then I will be playing the third one. Not necessarily right away, like immediately, but at some point for sure we're going to take this same group and import them forward to the third game as well. You can be sure of it. Okay, we've got a bow. There's a parchment. And we've got some arrows. Hmm, actually, you know... Maybe... I should put those further down in the queue, so to speak. Yeah, how would you tell if she was poisoned? Okay, is that... yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we're into the plus two arrows. So let's... This is ridiculous because you can't organize your, like, ammunition. So I am, I am doing this... Uh, because... There we go. I have to dig through all of my magical arrows in order to slot my uh, non-magical arrows behind them. There we go, okay. Is this... Oh, was there a mix-up? Aha! See, I thought so. Which is dumb as hell, but it is what it is. And we deal with it. Okay, alright, I think I am... I think we're into the regular arrows now. At least we've got loads. Remember in Eye of the Beholder 1 when we only owned like 12 arrows the entire game? We were constantly like desperately fretting over how we had left an arrow behind or forgotten one somewhere. It's like, oh no! Every time an arrow was discovered on the floor it was like priceless treasure. Yes, exactly. Curse my abundance. Damn my wealth. Okay, we've actually spent both keys now. Alright, real quick. 
this. Oh. Handy. Illusionary walls. Where is that? Is that on this level? I don't think it is. Hmm. Oops. I Yeah, you can. You can do this, but you can still only take them one at a time, and then I'd have to set them down. So it actually takes two clicks, as opposed to just firing the bow only takes one, which is why I was shooting at the wall. See how silly it is. Okay. Um... Right, let's go this way. Thing. Okay, that's already open. Please, whoever you are, turn back. It's a trap. Don't come any closer. Hmm. Uh, I think... Oh. I think I remember this? Here we go. I warned you not to come here. I've been left to die. You will join me if you do not leave soon. Hmm. Who left you here to die? Like you, I took the test of the cloth, but I failed in my attempt to achieve. We know the cost of failure, and now I must pay the price. I wait for the serpents to come so that I may die with honor. Now leave me before my accursed luck befalls you as well. I love how they show you, like, right there, there's armor behind him. That causes you to, like, walk back. Leave me and continue forth. May you succeed where I did not. If you disturb him, he does fight back. Nobody. Sounds like the trigger broke beneath us. This is not good. Indeed. You get a potion of healing. And there's some other stuff here. I don't remember which of it is magic. There's a bunch of uh, fireballs, though. Is this magical? It is. Plus two plate mail. Mm. Okay, that's not magical. That's not magical. I don't remember, though. I really want that plus two plate armor. Uh, but... I don't remember... What happens? Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember what the, tr the trigger does, the floor trigger, and I don't. Where he says like, "Oh no, you know it's it it broke." Um, and I I don't remember. I think. Oh well, <laughs> how can you tell with the helmet? Um because it's got red on it. So the, the blue filter of Detect Magic will cover up the red. Uh, let me try this. Takes like a worrying amount of time to load. Oh, okay, that's what it does. Yeah, okay. It locks you in here. Dang it, I think that means we can't get it. I seem to remember that. It's like there is, there's some treasure and stuff where, um, you just can't get hold of it. It's there to taunt you. I feel like there's something around here, too. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, pretty much. Like, the door just locks and it's over. And you can't go back out of the room. 
The plaque reads, greed may be your downfall. Give what you need not. But I need everything I have. Arguably. Oh, there's something. I should probably do this. <sighs> the bow, it is magical. Good. We have yet to find a magic bow. Hmm. It did not identify it. I don't believe. Composite bow. Okay. I guess I just didn't cast it right. Yeah, so it's just, it's a magic composite bow? I don't remember. Oh, man. Well, folks. I don't recall the solution to this puzzle, but I know that some of these magic mouths that are wanting stuff, uh, they need things that we have already thrown away <laughs> so like i've got to go and pick some of that up do y'all where did i throw that ring do y'all remember because i really don't the the ring of adornment was it down on this floor Was it here? No, it couldn't be. Because a snake dropped it. Well, I have to come back here anyway because... Um, we have to get that cursed sword. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't actually remember where I threw it down. Man, when I step on that, it's, I'm going to have to do the hit puzzle again. Nope. Nope. Okay, good, because we solved the puzzle. Good. Usually, Eye of the Beholder is pretty good about that, but... Oh, man. I don't remember if we need the ring or not, but I know we need the sword. And I cannot for the life of me remember where I threw it down. So I'm going to have to <laughs> go hunt for it. I think. Oh, no, wait. Here it is. Here it is. There it is. Okay. That's one, at least. <laughs> that's that's not nothing. That's some, that's better than, than we had. <laughs> so yeah, we got to go find our, our bling that I lost that I threw away, that I discarded. I think we need that. But there are some others uh, that we can go ahead and satisfy. Some of these other magic mouths, we can shut them up and get what we need from them. Golden Corral special, oh my goodness. Rude to the Golden Corral, though. Okay, this way. This is where we found the bow just a second ago and like the parchment and stuff. Where did I throw that ring down? I feel like... I was looking at a landmark of some kind when I tossed it. Like I was, I was facing a doorway, or a set of stairs, maybe. I I feel is correct. Here we go. Found it. 
The Ring of Adornment. There we go. I got God on the second go. The first time I just breezed through it like, oh, I remember that's there. <laughs> okay, let's see. Items born of greed are what I need. One free cheer and one less to fear. So I don't remember for sure. I think maybe it wants that, but we still need other stuff too. One's refuse is another's gold. Your famine is my pe my feast. Um, oh, we can go get that one. That's the other one that I'm pretty sure I remember what it wants. Because I'm almost positive that is that rotten food that we found in the room that is creating an infinite supply of snakes. No, they're, they're pretty full up. They're not hungry at the moment. Here we go. Snakes. Hi there. Hello, the aforementioned infinite supply of snakes. Oh my god, instantly poisoned. You know what? Where is... Oh, am I down a slope? Oh, we haven't rested. Oh, lord. So she doesn't have neutralized poison. Damn me. That's gonna cost me another cure poison potion. But not until I kill the snake. And the one behind it. And probably the one behind that. Oh, San Rall is also... How? Oh! They are literally spawning behind us. Oh my god. Oof. God, I hate this level so much. Where are the extra po poison potions? Okay. Well, I'm glad they gave us those because I am going through them rapidly. Oh, the Dizzy Comet. Yeah, like, no, there's a trap there where when you step on a certain tile, you get turned around so many degrees. Come on. Step out. Take your turn. All right. Let's go satisfy some of these mouths. Oop, that's the wrong. Okay, this one is... I think this one is the rotten food. Let's give it a shot. Who did I give that to? You. To such a delight to taste the ravages of time. Hear me sing. There we go, that's one. Which means, uh, we also... There we go. It's closed so you can tell that you did it. Don't need that anymore. Which one are you? Okay, this is the one that wants a ruby, which is somewhere on this floor, I think, but I don't remember where. From the fiends from below, the item with the hidden glow. Find this thing for me, only then shall I set you free. From the fiends below. The item with the hidden glow. From the fiends from below. So some kind of demonic item? Fiends from below. The only thing below us was wasps and mantis men. Oh, I wait a minute. I think... There we go. Crunch, 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 cough, cough. I am the keeper of the gate. It is now open, so celebrate. There we go. That's... I think... Yeah. It wants the mantis idol. Okay. This is the... Okay, this is the cursed sword. 
Yeah, see, you, you figured it out too, Zeno. Okay, where is... There we go. Hunger. Revenge is the sweetest taste of all. Hear my call. They all have such, like, these horrible, bad rhymes. Parched and dry liquid so they can cry. Okay, uh, this is the one that wants parchment. Okay, this is... Not on this floor. I don't remember where that is. If it's on a lower floor, we have probably already found it. If it is on an upper floor, I can take a screenshot of this and we do not need this map anymore. Yum, hear me hum, they say. There we go, we're almost there. We just need a couple more. Okay, well, and now we've got to rest because I've got to get that neutralized poison spell back. I'm going through those potions like crazy. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, good. So I was correct about most of these. And I think, again, I think this one wants a potion. I think. Refreshment you bring, so now I can sing. Yes, it wants a potion. I'll give it that potion of invisibility because we will never use that. All right, that is... I hear something behind the wall here. He's... Do you? Which wall did you mean? Uh... Fine stone carving. Hmm. Yeah, there is something really close. I think there's some more illusory walls around here somewhere. But that's okay. We know they're there, and we will be able to go back for it. I think for now, though, that's going to be it. Uh, we did not make as much progress as I wanted. But we certainly made some. So... Oop. See, it's, lo it's a lot less funny game when you make me backspace like that. Insofar as it's funny in the first place, I suppose. So... Yeah, we didn't make as much progress as, we as I wanted. Uh, but we did definitely make some. Uh, we almost finished the Silver Tower, uh, but I've got to go back and hunt for some other stuff, and uh, that's just... Hmm. I, I think it's going to have to wait. As much as I hate to quit in the middle of a level, I think it's just going to have to wait, and we're going to have to pick up here next Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S., so until then, of course, I am grateful for the privilege of your time. Thank you so much. Shout out again to Dan Van Dam for the raid. Thank you, Raiders, for sticking around and watching and having fun with us here in Eye of the Beholder 2. And don't forget to follow and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more of this Saturday series. I'll be playing it all the way to the end, and then we'll be playing the third one. Between now and then, uh, I will be back on Monday, along with Specific Pixel, as we continue our current husband play, which is the Super Mario RPG remake that just came out on the Switch. It is so good. It is so good. So whether you have are like a longtime fan of Super Mario RPG, or if this is your first exposure to it, either way, it's really great. So drop by. We're doing that every Monday until we get done before we split that off, uh, back off into our alternating schedule, and I do Wasteland 2 while he's going to be playing Baroque. Thursday, of course, will be more Aether Lords, 
And coming up, don't forget that on December the 10th, we've got our first annual winter holiday stream. We're going to be going all day playing some holiday games, uh, retro games, of course, just like we did when we played Sweet Home all day for Halloween. So, oh, well, this was, this is a good one. I got frustrated by that one puzzle early on because I just, I knew I knew what was supposed to happen and it just wasn't working. And it was, and I was the one that was not working. <laughs> So, there you go. Take it on faith. Ah, uh, but uh, anyway, it was a blast. I will catch y'all in the next one. And until then, as always, thanks for playing.